What up team? It's leg day. I'm about to head out. I was supposed to do this yesterday. Um, I unfortunately uh, got uh, sidetracked with other things. Those other things might have involved, uh, you know, uh, crushing two beers and, and mounting a TV to my wall, but you know, that's not important. What's really important is the regimen, bro. And check it out, dude. It's r check it out. This one's crazy. So as you saw, I like to do core and leg together in unison on one beautiful big baddie day. Here are the calories I'm working with. Uh, if you're wondering why my diet was so fucked up today, watch to the end. Honestly, if it doesn't instill you with a new respect for meal prep, I don't know what will. If you've ever wondered what it's like to get into a roller coaster, you can always start by getting into the leg extension machine. I won't dwell on this too long because, I mean, it's leg extensions. Looking pretty good. The form's all right. We are out here cleaning up the sets, cranking 80s. Didn't get any footage for the hamstring curls, but we hit those hams with also 80s to 86s. Some big cleanups going on. Uh, we boosted past the <laughs> the 4x12. We're now doing uh, 4 by anything above 12 on these ones. This is probably the closest feeling you'll get to being at Six Flags, outside of being at Six Flags. As long as you keep your knees lined up with the pivot and your hands inside the vehicle at all times, this machine is sure to keep your quads California screaming. It's probably the dumbest shit I've ever said. Attention all squat chuds! If you aren't tolerant enough to witness true love between man and leg press, stop watching immediately! Yeah, I get it. There's no squats in my regimen. Why are you going for easy stuff? But I swear to God, you have never seen somebody push it like I do. Fucking love the leg press and there is nothing you can do about it. Another great day for legs. We're repping five up above our last PB, hitting 270. Here's what that looked like. Hey team, just taking my uh, post leg raise nap. Um, remember to stay hydrated and take it easy. Um, otherwise you'll end up like me on the fucking floor of a dirty gym trying to finish three more sets. That's right baby, it's leg raise time. If you ever wanted to look as unsexy as possible while you try to look as sexy as possible, I'd recommend doing calisthenics of a camera zero prior experience this was my second ever set of leg raises out of the captain's chair you're gonna really want to brace your back and your biceps when doing this to reduce as much swing as possible that'll really accentuate the exercise and make it extremely effective doing these uh, kills me pretty much every leg day so uh, I'm just gonna move on to cable choppers Well gamers, it's been another lucrative day of pushing the boulder. We have made much progress. It is currently uh, 10 p.m. It's very dark. I have just now realized I have absolutely zero food in the fridge. I still have to get 125 grams of protein in my system and um, all the stores are closed except for pharmacies. So I'm gonna go home and try to figure out how I'm gonna make that work. Here I am, basically walking down to the Canadian version of a CVS. As I entered the store, I almost immediately went to the dairy section because I was convinced I'd be drinking Core Powers for dinner. Luckily, I found some genuine, honest-to-God chicken in this store and the macros were normal, so. I also had to pick up some protein powder because I was out. They didn't have the brand I normally buy, so I had to buy this new thing, which always sucks. Buying a new protein powder feels like gambling. 
it, it baffles my mind how we are still producing dog shit protein powder to this day. This is like the most regular tasting thing I've ever tried. It's not bad. So after doing leg raises, I, uh, I peeled my sweaty ass off the floor. And bro, look at the stain I left on the fucking ground. Why is it so thick?